So apparently, Steven Crowder is a giant piece of shit. He just put out a video that said the AIDS epidemic, which killed 35 million people, is a hoax. There's absolutely no other way to interpret it than that Steven Crowder does not value gay people's lives. He clearly believes that if gay people die, it doesn't count as much as straight people. And before anybody accuses me of strawmanning him or putting words in his mouth, have a listen for yourself. Statistically, the CDC puts a heterosexual American's chance of contracting AIDS at 0%. With 92% of all cases stemming directly from male-to-male -male sexual contact, and the majority of the remainder coming from intravenous drug use but clawing at the hundreds of millions of dollars in government grants, fear-mongering ran rampant. But hindsight is 2020. In the moment, everyone believed this silent non-killer aids to truly be an epidemic, even though the chances of contracting it short of anal sex with gay strangers while shooting heroin was statistically non-existent. Matter of fact, the chances of a straight person contracting HIV in the modern world is four in 10,000 per exposure. Meaning that if a man were even married to an HIV-infected bride, he'd have to engage in intercourse with her on average of 10,000 separate occasions to expose himself to contracting AIDS. Well through the 1990s, funding continued to soar for the entirely preventable disease while countless Americans, including millions of children, died of diseases helplessly, entirely out of their control with actual mortality rates. But they didn't have a celebrity awareness campaign and received a fraction of the funding. Yes, the AIDS epidemic hoax is one of the greatest ever perpetrated in the American public, and one that inadvertently cost millions of lives of actual victims. There's really no other way to interpret this, folks. Basically, he's saying, so what if 30 million gay people died from AIDS? AIDS doesn't really affect straight people, so who gives a fuck about those faggots? They aren't real victims. 30 million gay deaths is not a real mortality rate. They're just a bunch of disgusting buttfuckers. Who cares about their lives? Why are we wasting all this money on these fucking queers? Who cares if they die? It doesn't really affect us straight people, so AIDS is no big deal. And here's the thing. Even if all the stats he showed in this video that he uses to back up this vow retarded argument were actually true, it would still make him a giant piece of shit. Not valuing somebody's life as much simply because they're gay and calling the death of 30 million gay people not real victims would still make him a festering bag of rotten smegma. But the thing is, almost everything he says here is either a complete lie or a distortion of the truth in order to back up this bullshit narrative he has created. Which makes this giant piece of shit an even bigger giant piece of shit. And I'll show you. Let's go through this section by section, and I'll show you guys just how vile and retarded this walking lobotomy is. Statistically, the CDC puts a heterosexual American's chance of contracting AIDS at 0%. Alright, stop. So I researched this for myself, and one of the first websites you come across is the CDC website, which directly tells you 24% of new HIV cases comes from heterosexual sex. So according to Google, at least 35 million people have died from AIDS since the beginning. So if you take that 24% and extrapolate it worldwide, you get about 8.4 million straight people who have died from AIDS. 8.4 fucking million people. That's almost three times of all the people who live in the state I live in combined. Or as Steven Crowder refers to it, 0%. And there's no doubt in my mind that Crowder must have come across to all these websites when he was researching this, but he decided not to be honest and share this information with his audience because it did not fit his narrative. And I know exactly what he's doing here. I know the mental gymnastics he is doing to come up with the 0% figure. Basically what he's doing is this. He's saying there are 350 million people in America, and according to the CDC, 9,000 new cases a year are from heterosexual sex. So if you divide 350 million into 9,000, you get .00002571428. So he's right. There is a very statistically small chance that as a heterosexual person, you will get AIDS in any given year. So basically what he's saying is, this number is closer to 0% than 1%, so it's basically zero. This is some really fucking retarded logic. Yes, this number is a very low percentage, but when you're dealing with really big numbers, like seven billion people, those low percentages can add up very quickly. And just to show you guys how fucking retarded his logic is, according to the New York Times, at least 5% of the male population has had some sort of homosexual experience. Which means there's roughly at least 8.8 .8 million gay men in America. And according to the CDC, there are about 26,000 new cases of HIV every year in the homosexual community. So if you divide 26,000 by 8.8 .8 million, 
you get 00295454545, which is much closer to zero than it is 1%. So according to Crowder's logic, there is a 0% chance that if you're a gay man, you will get AIDS. See how fucking retarded that logic is? It's just real, real fucking stupid, folks. But let's continue with this bullshit. With 92% of all cases stemming directly from male-to-male -male sexual contact, and the majority of the remainder coming from intravenous drug use. So it took me a really long time to figure out where he was getting these stats from, where he got this chart from. He didn't link to any of his sources. I'm assuming it's because he did not want his audience to look into it and find out for themselves that he's lying. But he is fucking lying. But eventually I did find where he got the stat from. It's from the CDC chart of adolescents and young males who get HIV. And despite the fact that he claims this chart shows 92% of all new HIV cases are from homosexual sex, that's not what it fucking shows at all. This chart does not even include the majority of the population. It excludes women. It simply very narrowly focuses on one male age group. And as I already showed you, 24% of new HIV cases come from heterosexual sex. So Crowder is straight up 100% lying here. He is lying because he knows the majority of the dullards who follow him would not actually check into this. But hell, here's the funny part. Even with the cherry-picked graphic he presents you with, it still doesn't even say what he claims it says. He claims that 92% of all new HIV cases are from male-on-male -male sex. And he also claims the majority of the rest of it comes from drug use. But if you actually look at the bullshit chart he picked, it doesn't say that at all. This thing specifically shows that even if you add up the male-on-male -male sex plus drug use and the drug use categories, that only equals 3.5%, whereas the heterosexual transmissions account for 3.7%. So Crowder is literally fucking lying about his lies. And this is what this guy fucking does. The truth does not matter to him. He knows his audience won't look into it, so he'll say any fucking thing he has to that furthers his narrative. Let's keep going. I'll show you. Matter of fact, the chances of a straight person contracting HIV in the modern world is 4 in 10,000 per exposure. Meaning that if a man were even married to an HIV-infected bride, he'd have to engage in intercourse with her on average of 10,000 separate occasions to expose himself to contracting AIDS. Okay, here we find out that Crowder can't even do basic math. Four per every 10,000 occurrence is not the same thing as one per every 10,000 occurrence. Four per every 10,000 occurrences means one per every 2,500 occurrences. Very basic, simple math here. The number 10,000 is just the base number they use for all these stats. And he knows this because this is the page he got the information from. As you can see here, the four per 10,000 occurrences is for when a man has sex with a woman who has HIV. And as you can also see, for a woman who has sex with a man who has HIV, it jumps to eight per 10,000 occurrences which is about one in every 1,250. In fact, it shows very clearly on this page that if a heterosexual man is in a relationship with a woman who has HIV for 10 years, there is a 44% chance he's going to get it. 44 fucking percent chance. That means in a long-term heterosexual relationship, if one person has HIV and doesn't know it, there is a very good chance they're going to give it to their partner. So the fact that you failed at basic math and then cherry-picked very specific information off this page that fits your narrative and then left out some very, very important shit, did not share it with your audience, just shows you that you have no intention of being honest here. It's very obvious you are simply trying to mislead your audience into believing the bullshit, retarded narrative you have put forward. Which, in my opinion, should make your audience question everything you say. You are clearly not a very honest person. Let's keep going. Well through the 1990s, funding continued to soar for the entirely preventable disease while countless Americans, including millions of children, died of diseases helplessly, entirely out of their control with actual mortality rates actual mortality rates. You know, because the 30 million gay people that died are not actual mortality rates. Because those butt-fucking sinners should have kept their dick out of each other's booty holes. They deserve whatever they get. Serves those homos right. Fuck them. Good lord, you're a fucking creep. So let's finish it up. Yes, the AIDS epidemic hoax is one of the greatest ever perpetrated in the American public. And one that inadvertently cost millions of lives of actual victims. And there you have it, folks, one last time. 35 million deaths from AIDS, not actual victims. Who cares if they died some of the most horrible, torturous ways known to man? 
Everybody knows that AIDS is preventable, so it's pretty much just their own fucking fault. Why should we waste time trying to educate them and find a cure? After all, straight people are safe, so fuck those faggots! The sad part is, I actually have fans that support Crowder financially. Simply because they think he is anti-SJW, they jump on board this shit and just ignore all the harmful bullshit he spreads. But sorry folks, if you support this guy, this is the kind of hatred you're paying for. This is a prime example of why you do not support conservatives. I realize that conservatives on YouTube have rebranded themselves as the cool new thing. They're the brave culture warriors standing up to the neoliberals destroying our society. But look folks, this is obviously nothing more than thinly veiled hate. Regardless of the shiny new package conservatives have put on themselves, besides the high production qualities and the funny skits, conservatism is the exact same as it's always been. And this is coming from a guy who was a conservative for over 20 years. I used to read Rush Limbaugh books when I was 12 years old. That dude was my hero. And in all this time, the conservative playbook has not changed. They want to pit us against each other and distract us with bullshit while the rich loot us. Meanwhile, while they distract us with this ridiculous bullshit, they're giving giant tax cuts to the rich, taking money from the poor, gutting environmental reforms, trying to take over education, trying to put more non-violent offenders in private prisons. This is what they do. This is what they've always done. And Crowder is nothing more than the next generation of these shameless Christian fucks who will say and do anything to make sure their side holds on to power. And unfortunately, it's working. No doubt about it, his video will be seen hundreds of thousands of times, and my video will probably only be seen couple tens of thousands of times. That's how this bullshit works. The lies get spread way more than the truth. And his dumbass audience who will not look into this will believe him. They'll spread this shit and they'll use this bullshit to justify their bigotry. This stuff is tired. It's shameful. And those of you falling for this bullshit are simply being conned into voting against your own best interests. Fuck this video. Fuck Crowder. And if you support this lying piece of shit, fuck you too. Logic. Hey guys, Dusty Smith here, and here's a kitty update. Kitties are getting much bigger than they were. As you remember, we rescued these from a storm drain. If at all possible, please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. My patrons are the only reason my channel still exists. And all the donations from my Patreon go to support the Humanist Society of Mississippi Animal Shelter to take care of these little guys. So if you can help at all, please do. Thanks a lot.